Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSRSI Pro uh, traders. The title of the video is uh, RSI Oscillator Bearish Trade Setup. RSI Oscillator Bearish Trade Setup. All right? What are we looking for? We are looking for a bearish trade setup using the RSI period 14, RSI oscillator period 14. Right? The first condition is that the, the financial instrument should be going up. So the financial instrument is going up, displaying higher lows and higher highs. Okay, here you see it's above the bullish trade line and it's displaying higher lows, higher highs. The first condition for the RSI oscillator bearish uh, setup is that the primer display a lower low. So here it is, okay? So this low here, the green one here, in comparison to the previous low, which is this one here, where my cursor is, this is a lower low. So because in an, in an uptrend, the primer display high lows are high, for the first time, we see that the primer has displayed a lower low. This is telling us that uh, the bullish momentum is diminishing, all right? So the next thing that we want to see is the confirmation of the bearish uh, momentum that starts from here. So if the bearish momentum will continue after the lower low, the prime must fail to display a new higher high, all right? So the first condition, the prime was rising, displaying higher lows, higher high. Now the price has displayed for the first time a lower low, okay? To confirm this bearish uh, setup, the price must fail to display a new higher high. So for instance, if it display this one, this uh, new lower low, and goes up and above the previous high, okay? That will negate the bearish trend setup. So that will violate the bearish setup. So for instance, we have this lower low, and the price went up above the previous high, it's no more bearish as such. Okay, we need to be careful, all right? But if the price display a lower low and failed to display a new higher high, all right, it's bearish. This is an RSI, okay, bearish trade setup. So for here, you can see that the price has displayed a lower low. Normally, we would prefer it to display a lower high here. But the most important thing I want you to understand is that the price has failed to display a new higher high. This is very, very important for us. After displaying a new lower low, the price has failed now to display a new higher high. This is confirming to us that the bear are still in place. So we will prefer normally that the price after this uh, lower low to the exhibit okay, a lower high in comparison to this high here. We will prefer the price to display a lower high here. But I need to clarify this. The most important thing that we want to see after the new lower low is for the price to fail to display a new high high. Here, it was not a lower high in comparison to the previous high. It was, in fact, equal high. But normally, we will prefer the price to display a lower high in comparison to the previous high. So after, but as I explained to you, the most important thing that we want to see is the price to fail to display a new higher high in comparison to the previous high if it has displayed a lower low, okay, after a bullish progression. So there is a bullish progression. So in a normal bullish progression, the price might display lower lows, the price might display higher lows, a higher high, okay. Now the price breaks the trend line and display a lower low. This is the first condition. Now, the, the most important thing for us is after the price start going up from here, 
the price must fail to go above the previous high or to display a lower high. As you can see here, it has failed to display a new higher high. Now, the next step, we will pay attention to the RSI indicator. The RSI indicator must now cross below the 50 level. This is the RSI oscillator bearish setup after okay, a bullish progression. So first condition, price going up, displaying higher lows, higher high. Second condition, the price has displayed a lower low for the first time. Third condition, the price has failed to display a new higher high in comparison to the previous high. And the RSI must cross below the level of 50. Here it is. If it cross, it must stay below it. You see here? Stay below it nicely here. This is a bearish trade setup. The RSI oscillator bearish trade setup. It makes sense? So we will analyze the price first because this is the price that we are trading. Very, very important. We are not trading the RSI. We are analyzing the price. Now the RSI can give us the warning after the price itself has failed to display a new higher high. In fact, the price has given us okay, the direct signal here, but the RSI has confirmed the direct signal by going below the level of 50. Because if the RSI is above 50, all right, the magnitude of recent gain are superior to the magnitude of recent losses. But when the RSI is below the level of 50, the magnitude of recent losses are superior to the magnitude of recent gains. So what's happening when the RSI is below 50 is telling us that the bearish momentum is stronger than the bullish momentum. And when the RSI is above, okay, a 50 is telling us that the bullish momentum is stronger. But we are not trading the RSI. The price must confirm, okay, the warning that the RSI is giving us. All right? But in this case, uh, talking about the RSI oscillator bearish trade setup, the prior has given us a clear-cut indication that there is a bearish momentum in place, and the RSI now confirming by giving us a warning by dipping below the level of 50. Now, this is not, this is a trading setup. This is not a trading signal. This is not entry point. Trader must use a thorough, okay, multiple time frame trading method or a top-down trading method or what I like to call the trading drill. So from this uh, three days chart, you see here, we are a three days chart looking at Caterpillar stock, all right? We will now break it down, okay? Go to another signal time frame. We can use two hour chart, we can use hourly chart, we can use 30 minute chart as a signal time frame. Then we will select another time frame for the entry time frame. This is what we call a top-down trading method. The setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. The reason why we use a top-down trading method is uh, to pinpoint the best place to enter the trade and, uh, okay, to, to, to select, okay, uh, the best hot spot trading zone, all right? So if you rush and sell here, sometimes swing traders do that and they get into trouble because they don't understand a top-down trading method. So as you are using a top-down trading method, if the signal fell, you will come out, okay? You wait again. All right, because the setup is in place, bearing straight setup. Now we, we we must wait for the signal. Okay, signal is given. All right, now we must select another time frame. Okay, to manage the risk, the low risk entry point. I hope you have learned something from this video also, and we put it to use. Okay, to make excellent. Uh, okay, trading decision. This is about the RSI oscillator, bearish trade setup. We are the TS RSI Pro uh, Traders. If you want to know more about the RSI, go to www.dayprotrader.com, subscribe to our, our okay, website, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give us a thumbs down, but also put a comment why you have disliked the video. If you truly, truly love it, and you think that other traders may profit, may learn something from it, share it on Google+, Plus, on Facebook, and also on Twitter to allow other traders also to improve the RSI oscillator trading. This is about RSI oscillator, bearish trade setup. Thank you for watching, 
and then we will speak to you very soon. We are the TSRSI Pro Traders. Speak to you soon.